Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 19th episode of Persona 5 The Animation. Now last episode, our characters went to the beach, had a lot of fun, got to wear some very on-point swimsuits, and just very enjoyable to, to watch all that. Also, we had Futaba like go into a store by herself and get kind of end up like kind of a lost child situation and then had to come come by and pick her up and yeah that was that was a bit unpleasant but also Kawakami she apparently fishing is just a, a thing she does to unwind she wasn't wearing her maid outfit though which was a little bit disappointing hopefully we get more of that at some point in the future just like, we, I can hope right and we ended off by I think we just showed off the uh, like a picture of the new boss like we do for pretty much all the bosses and not giving us any details about what he has done wrong why he deserves to have his heart stolen but I guess we'll get into that this episode so yeah, let's jump right into it and see. Three, two, one, play. Uh, Shujin Academy, I've heard of that place. <laughs> yeah, which makes it very obvious that the Phantom Thieves go to that school. <laughs> Oh, they did. <laughs> I guess it would. <laughs> yeah, you're still on a short leash. <laughs> Thank you, Futaba. I'm glad you're around. <laughs> you get to actually, you know, sit around and eat like a big family. It's great. Yeah, Okamura, I think his name was, is the next guy. It pretty much looks like he could either be a politician or a businessman. And since we already have Shido, I think his name is in the show, who's a politician, I'm going to lean towards Okamura being a businessman. So whenever he's done anything like, especially about a just like usual, you know, evil businessman things like exploiting workers and putting out low quality products that can make people sick, you know. And also how we get involved with him to begin with, like. Many questions yet to be answered, is kind of my point. I look forward to Futaba just like doing dungeons with them. Because <laughs> I'm sure she'll be very helpful. Oh my god, you're like famous and stuff, that's awesome. <laughs> Ooh, school trip. Where are we going? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I assume like Okinawa or Kyoto, there's a couple of big ones. Huh. Okay, so I guess normally she wouldn't go. I guess it's only for their year. <laughs> uh, like a big girl? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Of course it does. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting location <laughs> for a Japanese school trip. And more importantly, the cellar resorts. Oh, so we have a poll going, okay. Are they really going to choose the next target like that?
I mean, before, the only rule they had about targets was they all had to agree to do it. Give it Ryuji's shirt. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Oh, well, I was expecting the hacker to suggest that. Yeah, just stick that into your sister and get her information. <laughs> I don't understand any of this, but it's awesome. <laughs> well, then, yeah, just <laughs> stick it into her when she's not, you know, looking. I'm going to expect a lot from you, and you can't stop me. Well, how'd that work out? Sweating like a pig. That scummy, scummy principle. Uh, don't have a heart attack. I mean, please do. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want people to see that. It's just a, it's just a pleasant person to deal with, usually. I mean, you could just take a bath together, but I guess that would, you know, defeat the purpose of this suggestion. Because <laughs> you want to get into a laptop. Oh, it's not going to show me much here, is it? Yeah, it's not going to show me much, because that's not the point of the scene. Wow, what a boring desktop. She has, like, barely anything on there. It's like magic. It's copying files. I don't understand how any of this works. <laughs> Just don't come out yet, please. Yeah, that would have been really bad if she actually caught her. But yeah, it's okay. Ah, scroll trip. Wait, did they see where they're going yet? I don't I don't think they did or I missed it. Are they going to Hawaii? Because <laughs> that's, that's, wow. That's even better than Okinawa. That actually is a different country. Unlike, you know, Okinawa. Now this is what I call a beach episode. <laughs> You're making a scene, Ryuji. Well, that's your problem. We should probably get into our swimsuits before we take pictures, though. But I guess there's no such thing as a bad time for a selfie. You know, for today's youth. <laughs> ah, Futaba, don't look at my pictures. Uh. <laughs> yes. Of course you did. Uh, gotta be there somehow. I, I would never dream of it. You might want to delete your special stash there, Ren, before she accesses that. Ah, <laughs> Morgana was left behind. Of course he was. <laughs> no calf fun. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, again, this is as, as expected of modern teenagers. <laughs> like, like surfing, I guess. Oh, I'd be okay with that too. Go for it, Makoto. Oh, damn. Oh, Makoto. Holy shit. Uh... No, keep going. I I need more of that. Uh, I mean, good God. I woke me up. Oh, uh, I like how she just... I love the way she hid the bikinis. Is what I'm... Oh, wow, she seriously do hula dance. That's great. I mean, I would have preferred to be actually animated, but that's still great. But good God, Sensei, that was... Uh, that was great. Oh, wow. Yeah, they definitely are international. <laughs> uh, 
And <laughs> even that music is very Hawaii esque. And they're still on their phones. Oh, that's Mishima. You're, that's kind of a creepy laugh, Mishima. What are you doing? How did you get to Hawaii? You were going to Los Angeles. <laughs> you know, he's trying to push the. push my suspension disbelief here with the coincidences. What's next? Futawa's gonna teleport there? I guess. I guess it's fine. <laughs> it's such a contrivance, but I'll live with it. Ugh. What? What's up? I know, right? <laughs> well, go talk to some girls. Maybe it'll work out. Probably not. <laughs> Uh, nice. You know what? Go for it, man. What do you have to lose? It, that is... That is some of the worst Japanese I've ever heard in my life. I feel like I've seen her somewhere before. I don't remember exactly where. But uh, I think she's a social link, so hands off. Yeah, no one's going after my hero. I mean, I could think of a few ways you could thank me. You may not like the suggestion, but... I guess that's enough of that. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if we've had anything really with her, aside from just random glimpses. I don't think we started down her social link path yet. Huh. Oh. <laughs> cool. I doubt it. <laughs> what are you finding? Well, don't get me all excited and not tell me. You know, Zep was actually kind of similar to the design of mine. It's kind of funny. Oh yeah, I forgot about this plot point. <laughs> Man, being pet by Futaba made me feel better. Okay, he doesn't want to hear that. You know, when you say Waga Hai, that... Kind of hurts your argument. Wagahai Ningen de Aru. Oh, that's that's rough. Unless you can just, you know, work things out with the three of you. You know what I mean? Oh, what uh, what brings you over here? Maybe for some fun games like the King game? Oh wow, <laughs> that sounds familiar. Oh, yeah, you're you're more than welcome. Feel free. Uh, just plenty of room in my bed. Oh, of course, <laughs> of course. Got to keep it family friendly. <laughs> I do like the poetry strike, you know, as, as expected of our model. <laughs> oh, Ryuji. Just say you want to bang and she, we, we all know you do. <laughs> Man, he's been on his phone like the whole time. Ah, uh, okay. That's what's got him. Trying to use a sight to get laid, of course. We'll see how that goes for him. Yes, our our countless endearing adoring fans. Just 
the principal. Well, I would assume you would just kill him to tie up that loose end, and I think that might be what this scene right here is, actually. Uh, I think they might be pulling a, the same thing they did with Futaba's mother here. A very similar death, I mean, yeah. Is he just gonna hit him? Like, he clearly saw him, I don't know why he would just keep going, but there goes the principal. It was amazing. <laughs> uh, it's uh, some uncharacteristic silliness from Ren. Hey, if you don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> it looks alright. <laughs> and even Sojiro laughing over there. Yeah. But it wasn't. No, it's... No, you're smart enough to know that that would happen only if somebody wanted to eliminate him before he got there. You're smart enough to know that. No, that... Okay, no, that's... That's an understandable conclusion to come to, but no. Ugh. <sighs> Like, why are you staring at me, my little sister? Do you need something from me? Yep. Yes, your little sister wasn't investigating you. Sort of. Kobe Akawa. Wait, I guess that's the principal's name. I, I didn't remember. I was confused for a second. But yeah, we were not involved with that. Yeah, we haven't really gotten into the, got into that yet. I'm sure everybody's really sad about that. Sarcasm. And man, they stick out like a sore thumb. You know, and Ryuji. A very easy game to play, spot the protagonists. Yeah, but you can't defend yourself, that's the problem. They really shouldn't, they don't have much of a leg to stand on because we haven't killed anyone before. So yeah, they don't really have much to go on there. Okay, I'm glad we're getting into this now. Okamura Foods. So it's a food company, yeah, it's probably poisoning people. Okay, I think I'm starting to get some Death Note flashbacks here. Like that one... Yoshiba, whatever it's called, organization, killing out the competition. It seems like a very similar thing here. Like almost exactly the same, really. Yeah, well, he's probably not doing it himself. He's probably allied with the people that are. <laughs> well, it was, it was obvious he would have a palace, though. Well, that's convenient. I know, but it's a lot of circumstantial evidence. Ugh. Come on, man. This he's always the next target. Let's just move this along. Uh, no. It doesn't work that way, Anne. The 
The principal died because he was involved with the wrong people. That's all it comes down to. But people, for some reason, in anime like to do mental gymnastics to try to come up with a reason why everything's their fault. Something that does bother me a little bit. Tell him, Ryuji. Well, we only have like seven episodes left, so. I guess the principal thing really shook their confidence, but. Uh... <laughs> uh, this is escalating. Come on, guys, we don't need this. <laughs> uh, shots fired. And he hasn't even gotten any girls from it. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. I would not call him small time for one. Yeah, a cat getting credit. I'm sure that would happen. Yeah, of course. We finally reached the boiling point of that plot point. You know, your laptop's a lot more boring than Futaba's is. Well, I don't care, Akechi. You all are not, so... Ah, <laughs> uh, you can say that again. Uh, yes? Okay, Sai, you're really starting to go further and further out the deep end. I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Hopefully she's not the final boss. But yeah, Vitapa's laptop's way cooler than yours is, Sai. Just, just saying. <clears throat> You know, I was wondering how they would get involved with Okamura and, you know, decide that he was a bad person and all that. You know, because they usually have some sort of... They usually become involved with somebody that's involved with them. Like what they did with Yusuke, what they did with, uh... Well, uh... I mean, I guess Anne and Ryuji were both kind of involved with, uh... uh the, the coach, whatever his name was. But, uh, this time it seems like we decided to just... They just have a poll on the internet. As well as just having a lot of Futaba's research go to this guy, being connected to a lot of the mental breakdowns. Because what I got from that was that, basically, she looked at all the mental breakdown cases and tried to research who would benefit the most from them, and came up with him. So he's probably directly affiliated with, you know, the, the one director dude and the rest of that organization. Sim similar to how the principal was, but the principal's now been cut off permanently. You know, Kamura probably will as well once they vanquish him. Oh, I guess that didn't work out well for Morgana, huh? But yeah, it looks like it's definitely a sci-fi themed palace, like I figured. <laughs> like I just said, security on them. It didn't look that tough, really. Well, yeah, I mean, we need a whole team to do these. Like even earlier, we, earlier easier dungeons required more than one person, so... Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't think that's a catchy, but that would have been really bad if it was. I thought it was for a second, but no, that's clearly a girl. That's, that's clearly a girl. Okay. So that was, uh, the 19th episode of Persona 5, the animation. 
And this episode, it was a school trip episode, which was interesting. Uh, it's What's definitely interesting about this is we kind of had a beach episode just last episode, I believe. So the fact that we already had another one was definitely an interesting decision, but one I can get behind, one I can definitely respect. But okay, let's see. What happened early on in the episode that's worth mentioning? Uh, I mean, we had the... Uh, we had the principal, okay. The principal, he obviously works together with the overall evil organization that's behind the mental mental breakdowns. And he's basically out of his usefulness, basically, and they decided to cut him off. And an organization like this doesn't just say, well, have a good life, see it later, maybe. They No, they kill you off, that's what they do. We already know that's what they did, because that's what they did with Futaba's mother. So if they're willing to do it with a big person like her, a useful person, and they're willing to do it with, you know, like a nothing person like the principal, so there was no doubt in my mind that he was going to die. Of course, the scene that I figured that out, it was like the same scene that he was going to die, so it's not like it really amounted to much being able to predict, predict that, but yeah, he died in a very similar fashion as Mutaba's mother. Now, the guy ran into him, like, I could have swear I heard him honk his horn like he saw him in the road, and, and like, once he realized he wasn't going to move, you think the driver would have stopped, but... I guess it just he either didn't want to or was unable to because of the nature of the vehicle. I I don't know, but the the point is the principal died from that, and people are definitely they're worried now because they, a lot of them are blaming the Phantom Thieves for this, even though they kind of shouldn't because they can't just. I mean, he the Phantom Thieves have not killed anyone before. They still on hearts. This is not similar in any in any respect to their usual way of doing things. So I don't know why people would jump to conclusions like that. But uh, some people clearly are. And some people probably, you know, are thinking more along the lines of he feels guilty about covering up the heinous acts that happened within his school and that guilt led him to suicide. That would probably be a more reasonable conclusion to come to than the Phantom Thieves done it. That's kind of a stupid conclusion to come to. But some people are doing that nonetheless. And this whole principal thing has definitely shaken the Phantom Thieves. Some of them feeling responsible for it, even though they really shouldn't because it's not their fault. It's the people that, you know... That, are, that, are, that were involved with the principal and had no more use for him, it's, it's their fault. I mean, I mean, if you wanted to, you could always go to mental genetics to figure out why it's somebody's fault. Like, you could say it was the principal's mother's fault for not raising him, right? You know, like, you could you could play those kind of mental gymnastics to do things like that, but no, at the end of the day, it's, it's their fault, not the Phantom Thieves. That's kind of my point. But yeah, back to the, back to the school trip. Apparently where we decided to go was to Hawaii. I was, I was more expecting Okinawa. That kind of that's usually a bit more common with school trips in anime. Usually Okinawa or Kyoto or a couple of the big ones, but no, they decided to go abroad, overseas, straight up to Hawaii, which was great. I mean, Hawaii is a place that I've always wanted to visit personally, which I that's probably not going to happen anytime soon, if ever. But that's one of the places I'd like to visit. You know, similar to Japan, and they had a great time there. Of course, they were just on their phones because, of course, they were. You know, you go all the way around the world to this new foreign place. That a lot of people dream about going to and on when you just kind of play with your phone when you're there. That's it's very it's very typical. But yeah, they, just, they had a really lot of great time. We had a I think the real highlight of that was the Kawakami part. part. Kawakami was trying on various swimsuits and striking some top tier poses while doing so, and mm, that was just the best. That was that was the best. And then someone, I don't remember who it was, but somebody walked in on her. And then she, like, covers the swimsuits. But the best thing about that was how she was bent over and showing us the goods as she did that. So that's definitely a pretty nice thing to walk in on. It just, it's just funny that she struck that pretty, still pretty good pose while trying to hide them. So I like I liked that scene a lot, really. And we actually did get our hula dance in, sort of. Just not really animated, just part of the, of the clip show, the montage. But still, it's nice that they did that. They also did some scuba diving and... Various other fun activities. Uh, Ryuji tried to pick up women, or at least said he would. We didn't actually get to see him do that, but I guess he just kind of did that off screen. Probably a game thing they didn't bother to animate, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think that went too well. He also had a lot of shots at Mishima just looking at his phone. Like, he was really bad about that. But I guess he's trying to hook up with someone on the fan site. I don't see that ending too well. Uh, I just I just don't, so. But yeah, hopefully he doesn't get too crushed when that ends poorly. But uh, of course, somebody with their would know would know that he's the admin. They just would think he's a normal member. So I don't know much how much cloud he'd really have. But yeah, I mean, I guess he could ban someone if he was too salty or was getting rejected. But uh, yeah, Let's see anything else? Well, I know there's other things, but I just want to see what else. Uh, yeah, basically the last big thing to mention is the whole 
and figuring out the next boss because Okamura, the CEO of Okamura Foods, is obviously our next target. However, people are a bit on the fence about actually doing it. They're not ready to commit to that just yet, so I guess we'll get into that maybe next episode. We don't have a lot of time left. There's only 26 episodes in this series total, because I heard 26 was the final finale. And we're already finished up episode 19, so that's only like 6 or 7 episodes left. So not, not a lot of time. We kind of have to hurry up, because I don't think... I mean, Okamura is clearly not the casino, because it's, it's a sci-fi space-themed one. Well, it's sci-fi. I guess it's not necessarily space, but it's at the very least sci-fi. But yeah, and then that's not the casino because we had to do the casino after that, and then we had to get to the full-on final boss stuff. So yeah, we don't have a lot of time left. So we're gonna we need to pick up the pace a little bit here. It's kind of my point. But Morgana still has his issues. Like that finally reached its boiling point where he just let let loose on Ryuji and told him how he felt and throwing shade at him and. Eventually, he just said, "You know, screw you guys. I'm going home. I can do this myself. I can, I, I can totally handle this palace by myself. I don't need you losers anyway." And then just left. And then he figured out quickly that's not true. He got beat up, and now he's all sad and now not doing well. At least he didn't die. That's a good thing. However, when he was in the palace, he actually met with a girl. I don't think we've actually seen much of her. I mean, I think I may have seen her like once or twice in the show itself, and I think in the opening as well, but. I don't know anything about her. I think we saw her like get out or, or into a limo. So uh, a rich girl, I guess, is the, the, the gist of it. And probably probably the daughter of Okamura, I would imagine, because that's kind of it, it's kind of coincidental t t timing for her to show up around the same time that we're getting into the CEO, who obviously he's rich, she's rich. So that's, that's kind of an easy connection to make. That's, that's how we can get somebody who's personally, emotionally connected to... Okamura, that's a that's a way to do that because we always need somebody like that, right? For every boss, we need somebody who has an emotional connection to them, whether it's you know, uh, Yuji and Ann or Yusuke or you know, somebody has to be emotionally connected to them. Uh, Futaba was kind of a weird case, really. So that although I guess I guess Futaba was kind of emotionally connected to her mother, who was technically the final boss of their dungeon. So yeah, we need somebody that's always has that kind of connection with the boss, and it looks like we're gonna have his daughter be that role. I don't know why she's. I don't know why she's in the palace though. That's a bit weird. I don't think she would be a, a, a metaverse user. That's unlikely. So, I I guess she just followed the cat and just got caught in the warp when he left because he was in a pretty emotional state himself. Probably wasn't paying much attention to his surroundings. Probably sucked her in. She probably stealthily followed him from behind as she was brought to this weird place. And then when he got all beat up, she probably just went over there and said, "Are you okay, kitty, kitty? Do you need a band aid?" And then just you know takes him out. So. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that relationship blossoms. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. But uh, he probably will probably try to convert her to be in a uh, his partner, similar to what he did for you know the others. But uh, it, it would probably take her some time to actually get her persona, though. That's not like that's not something you can just get real quick after you get your your metaverse app. Like it, it takes a little bit. You have to really, really take a good look at yourself and accept your faults or whatever it was. But it, becoming a persona user is not as easy as hey, here's the app. Now activate your persona, so I don't know how much help she'll be to him, really, but I guess she could, you know, be a decent sidekick, I guess, but yeah. Uh, she, I, That's interesting, because we're kind of, if she's there, then we have to be sending her up to be a member of the Phantom Thieves, right? Like, they wouldn't just put somebody in the metaverse that wasn't, that wasn't intended to be a Phantom Thief at some point, but I kind of thought we were already done getting new members, so that's, that, that's interesting. How big are we going to make the Phantom Thief cast? We can't really get much bigger than this. Surely she'll be the last one. Surely we can't do any more beyond that. So yeah, that's, uh, I, I'm looking forward to getting more into her character because she seems like a nice girl. There's something about her character design. She comes across as a nice, sweet kind of girl that, uh, that doesn't really, that's, she's not like a spoiled brat. I don't think she is. I, I didn't get that impression at all. So she's probably kind of down to earth for a rich girl, but uh, I guess we'll see one or the other next episode. Maybe she can talk some sense into Morgana once Morgana explains the situation to her. That that would be nice. Uh, or he'll explain the situation in a very biased way, and then she'll be, you know, on his side against the fans of these, and that could lead to a very funny but very awkward scene when everyone just kind of meets together. That could be fun too. But yeah, that's uh, that's it. We didn't really get a lot of Okamura aside from the fact that he's profited from the mental shutdowns and that he's obviously associated with the people behind them. That much is for sure. So, yeah, that's this is probably going to be a pretty big one one way or the other. Probably really, th through this dungeon boss, we're probably going to get to learn a lot about what's going on because he he's probably more in the inner circle than somebody like the principal is. So we might get some, if because think about it, shadows, the shadows inside of them, 
the shadows are not really they don't they don't hold their cards close to their chest they're very open because you're in their heart the shadows basically their heart speaking to you so, so they don't hide anything they they're completely open with you so they can pretty much probably figure out some stuff from the shadow from talking to him so this was this was really their best chance to really get some information on exactly what's going on he would know more about something about this than somebody like the principal or uh the the mafia boss or you know akamashita anyone like that so that's definitely a good chance to get some real good info uh, on that uh yeah i think i've already talked way too much on this episode but just it was a good episode definitely one of the better episodes i very much liked it and yeah thank you for watching and a special thanks to snoki for supporting the channel if you enjoyed this video i hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more if you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.